And last, I'll, I'll just point you to the east back here. Uh, to the east, you got another uh, ridge line over here. Uh, that on the other side of that is the Mashpaw Valley, uh, and the Mashpaw Valley is the home to about uh, three villages, about the size of Nangaresh. Uh, about seven thousand people live up and down that valley. In wow. Those, small villages. They're is small it, villages but have a lot of people in them. Very is it dense. Mainly agricultural or uh, the, yes, these are agricultural villages. Now, in our area, you see how rugged it is to the north. Basically from where you're standing to the south is all agriculture. From here to the north is gem mines. Uh, there are a lot of gem mines in western Nuristan where they find emeralds, tourmalines, uh, all kinds of uh, different beautiful stones uh, that you can find here locally in the bazaar. If you want to walk out to the bazaar later, they can show you all the stones that they find right here in Afghanistan. Can there you are, film in sh Sure, you can film anything you want. Yeah, yeah. Walk out to the bazaar and you can okay. see that. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that there is a lot of potential in Afghanistan that, that it is not realized right now because of the factors of corruption, uh, and, and certain people who uh, do not properly use the resources. Now to the north, you don't see it here, but up on the ridge line out there in Teton, you see the high mountain out there. That mountain, mountain's about 10,000 feet tall. There is a lot of timber up on, on that mountain. I don't know if you can zoom in, but there's a lot of timber on that mountain. Oh, and uh, okay, and and so one of the things that you see here also is timber. A lot of it. Now, you know see that around here. This place has been stripped of its timber many, many decades ago. But further to the north in Nuristan, there is a great deal of timber. Very, very good wood, hardwood, cedar, that uh, is, is, is cut illegally, I might add, and smuggled out to Pakistan. Uh, because timber cutting is illegal currently in Afghanistan, which uh, makes it very tough because it's something that could actually be used as a legal industry for a natural resource. But the uh, Afghan government has outlawed it and they didn't put a fix in place in order to make a legal means of uh, uh, cutting timber. So now the people who used to do it legally are now smugglers. And so it's a difficult issue that uh, the government is trying to deal with. It's something that we don't get involved with because we are soldiers. We don't do, uh, we don't make arrests, we're not police. The local Afghan government has to deal with that issue. But the government, the national government, needs to determine a way to fix the problem uh, so that people can do it legally and then tax it so they can build up a revenue base to continue to build uh, on the development that's going on here. One among many of the problems that are here in Afghanistan. So being an out, a forward operating base, obviously for the troops, it doesn't have all the resources and uh, like in the like in Bagram or oh no Dalo, no Dalo no this uh, as you can see uh, this place is located in uh, a very rugged area uh, the fob was was put down this is actually a piece of Ministry of Defense owned land so eventually when we do leave Afghanistan this will become part of uh, the Ministry of Defense uh, string of bases in uh, in uh, uh, the into KL area region. And uh, it, it's very austere. Everything that's here has been built from the ground up by uh, American forces, American engineers and soldiers that built this whole base uh, to make it what it is. It is in a beautiful area of Afghanistan, but it's very rugged uh, and uh, it's a very uh, tough mission trying to help with development and other uh, and developing governance in a place where they've never really seen those kind of things. So uh, it's a challenge, but it's an important challenge that we uh, accomplish. Are there Afghan National Army troops here with you? Or yes. Okay. So yes, there is. Uh, this is a this is a combined mm -hmm. base with Afghan forces uh, as well as our uh, contingent that I have up here, and also the PRT is located. Provincial, Provincial Reconstruction Team Neurostand is located. Which is similar with the people that were calling into our program earlier. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, well, thank you for the uh, introduction. And um, folks, we'll be back more on TalkingWithHeroes.com from here at FOB. Calagouche. Calagouche.
You gotta get that, right? Uh, <laughs> Bob Calvert here signing off, and we'll be right back.